Hi, this is Crystal the Herbalist, and this is video two of four on how to become a competitive runner. I'm wearing my sweatshirt, so I'm in coach mode. This is a team that I coach here in Oregon, and so that way I can be in the mindset that I need to be to uh, give you the ideas that I have. So, two months before a race is when my mind really starts getting into race mode, and I usually end up making sure that I train five days a week, taking you know, Sunday off and then picking one other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday are the typical days that I'll bounce around with depending on my schedule. Monday and Fridays are typically, or Monday and Saturdays are typically my long day, uh, run days, I run anywhere between five and seven miles, I usually include hills so that uh, I can build up my endurance. So it'll kind of vary. I have about four or five different routes that I run so that I can change it up. I don't like doing the same thing twice. Uh, on the Tuesday and Thursdays, I took up a fit camp class, which tremendously boosted up my stamina and my pace. Before I did that, uh, I, my, my times plateaued and I just couldn't seem to get any faster uh, pace than, and it just seemed like I was really slow. When I started doing this uh, fit camp, which is in um, strength training and cardio training, whatever, it just trains everything. And having that upper body strength, I could really tell when I ran my race, uh, the half marathon that I had done, I had the stamina and I could pump my arms when I needed to and I really feel that that made a huge difference on the time that I got. So I highly consider, or have you consider that as part of your training. When I'm getting closer to the race day, say uh, f three to four weeks out, I will not only do the fit camp in the morning, which I usually typically do, I'll also run uh, like two to four miles right after I get done with fit camp, then I'll go run uh, two to four miles to build up my stamina. On the other days, uh, so Monday and Fridays or Saturdays are my longer days, Wednesdays are usually my speed or hill training. And the hill that I do, I have a quarter mile hill, about a half mile from my house, and I'll run up that typically you know, 9 to 12 different times, 12 times. I build up to making sure that I can do it 12 times because I know if I can do it 12 times nonstop, I go run up the hill, jog back down, and I can do that without stopping, then I know that uh, I'm in pretty good shape. It takes me time to do that, trust me. Uh, and then the other days, the other times when I do speed work, I have several different trainings, uh, interval trainings that I do. I'll either do 200s, 400s, 800s, uh, 100 sprints where I'll jog the, the curves and sprint the straights, uh, or I will um, just, you know, time myself on the 100s. On, the, on all of the other, the 2s, the 4s, and the 8s, I'll do anywhere from 6 to 12, depending on my, you know, like on the 800s, I may only do 8 of them. On the 200s, I may end up doing 12. So it just depends on what my endurance, that's what my goal, ending goal is. I may not get that many done at first, but that's what I want to end at of how many I can do. And when I'm doing those, I want my times to be, This is these are pace times, so you want to be able to have the uh, last one, last 200, the same time as your first 200 or within a, a, a second or two. Same as your 800. You want to have your last 800 the same as your first 800. So you don't want to go all, you know, all out on it and then not be able to do the rest of them. So pacing is your key here. Take a stopwatch, take your, uh, some water, pad and paper so that you can Mark these down and you'll be able to see how you, just how you're doing and how you're improving. Uh, the other one I do is ladders, which is a, a 200, a 400, a 800, a 1600, and then back down. And again, the times need to be the same. You, you're striving for a pace. So then when you can get out on the, the longer distances, you keep at that same pace the whole time. So I hope that these, this information has been valuable to you. Uh, please Facebook me, Crystal the Herbalist, and uh, I'll see you on race day. Good health to you.